Friday here and in this week's video we're going to be talking about how you guys can start eBay dropshipping as a complete beginner in 2022 and the it's completely fine if you have no experience the only thing that you need is just a laptop so without any further ado let's dive right into it so first things first is making your eBay account when you go to ebay.com you're going to have to just simply go up to here and just make yourself a free eBay account it will be either say sign in or register and if you haven't made an account, register that. If you already have an existing account, you can use that if it's inactive at the moment. So the first thing first is to actually understand the dropshipping process. So there's multiple dropshipping methods, you know, online and different models, whereas we have Shopify dropshipping, eBay dropshipping, Amazon dropshipping, Etsy dropshipping, the list goes on. And the reasoning why I have picked eBay dropshipping is because the low upfront cost. We don't need to run ads, we don't need a website, we don't need apps, we don't need any of that stuff and that's why I'm going to explain in this model right now how that actually works. So we have our eBay store right here and customers are already on eBay. So the platform's already built out whereas if you're on Shopify you have to build your website and bring all the traffic there. The customers are already on eBay, we've just got to pick the right product and send it to them. So we have a customer. They place an order on our eBay store, for example, $200, and then we go ahead and go to our supplier. Now, our supplier can either be a wholesale supplier or a retail supplier. Now, retail dropshipping is not really allowed on eBay, but it's still working in 2022. So, yeah, um, let's just do this example right here. So, Cosmo places an order, let's just say it's a t-shirt for $200. We go ahead and go to our supplier, which is $150. Let's just say this is um, Walmart, and then we ship it directly to the customer. They get the item, we get the profit. Now, the best thing is with this, we don't need inventory. We don't need actually a warehouse or anything like that. It's so crazy, um, and it's so profitable. So when it comes to looking at suppliers, you know, we want to have, well, what I recommend is definitely Walmart, very fast, very reliable. Amazon are very good, and um, for wholesale, Alibaba. Now, what I was saying before, I was saying that um, it actually doesn't work. Well, it does work, but it's not really allowed doing retail. Now, a retailer is basically just an everyday department. For example, Target, you know, Kmart, like I said, Amazon, Walmart. All these places is where people normally shop. Whereas if you have a, you know, a wholesale supplier that up more in the supply chain. So this is actually where you can negotiate with the suppliers and actually get your products at a cheaper rate and and a lot more pieces at a cheaper rate. So that is the difference between wholesaler and retailer. Now, re now wholesaling is allowed on eBay, um, but yeah, like I said, you're gonna make a lot of profit using retail supplies as well because they do have fast shipping. Wholesale supplies tend to have a long shipping time unless you have a USA supplier. I've done videos that inside the other um, inside the YouTube channel, so make sure you go back and watch those if you haven't already. Now, once you understand, so you've got your eBay account, you understand how dropshipping works, I hope. <laughs> you know what your suppliers are. It's now about finding the product to sell. So I've gone ahead and done some research and I found this product right here. So this one stood out to me. And basically, once you've found your product, you want to go ahead and list that on eBay. And go about doing that is you just want to go to ebay.com, make sure you're logged in, obviously, and this little sell button in the top right here. You just want to click that. And once you click that, you're going to get brought to a similar page like this. And this is where you just get your product title, Control C, and then go on to here, and Control V, and get press Get Started. Now, this is basically, we're going to be able to, you know, list our product on eBay and um, this is how we're going to start making sales so sometimes a product might come up sometimes it might not so all we have to do is basically fill out all this information with the product that we have and calculate you know the prices and everything like that so i've already gone ahead and downloaded the photo off this place right here i just copied that and put it on here so first things first is always to do the image first and then the item description now the item description can be found on your supplier so you, that is very simple you can just control C, control V and paste that on there. So that's very easy and everything like that. So now we're going to go up to the top here and see if we've missed anything. Um, so for the title, that's wrong. So we want to make sure that it is the right title when it comes to, you know, listing this product because customers already know what they want. But if it's a wrong title, they're not going to be able to see it. So condition always new when you're having, you know, supplies most of the time 
Um, and the more item specifics you fill out, the more you, you're gonna rank on your listing. So if you leave stuff blank, but these are paid stuff, so you don't have to worry about them. But if you leave some of this stuff blank, it's not really gonna benefit you that much, but it doesn't also really matter. Now, with the selling details, never do auction. Never do auction, fixed price. And to calculate your buy it now price, we're going to, um, so this basically is going to tell us that the most it's going to cost is 57.68 for us to ship it out. And the best price that we should sell it at is $105 basically. So what we do is we go to finalfeedcalc.com and we're going to do the math. So the sold price, this is going to be what we're selling it at. We just get this, control C, control V. Now shipping charge, that is going to be zero. The reason why it's zero is because I don't charge customers for shipping. I include the shipping cost in the price most of the times. But for the price that we pay for shipping, it did for this product I did research and it is $10. And the item cost, so that's basically um, the worst case. So sometimes it's gonna be in between this, but they don't tell you until you actually, you know, I'm not even on a plan on this website, inventory source, so that's where I found the product, by the way. Um, so we're gonna say the worst case, 57.68. Put that in there, eBay store. Yes, that's it. And what am I missing? Maybe there's a space here. I don't know. But it's around, you know, $24 profit a week. I mean, you can do the math. Okay, it didn't it didn't work. Okay, let's just let's just be fast here. Let's just put 105. There we go. Total profit, $24.42. So that means every time we sell this, we're gonna get $24. That is not too bad for our first product. And yeah, that is just basically how we're gonna list the, so we're definitely gonna price it at the 100 105. Quantity, always do either, no more than three, because if you do more than three and you have low selling limits, you're not gonna be able to list many products. So I remember from two, and then that's done. Now business policies, there's no PayPal anymore. So you're gonna change it to eBay payments. Now the shipping policy, you might not even have this, you might just skip this part, but yeah. So I did no returns um, because I'm not dealing with returns when the, the item's gonna be perfectly fine. If it does come up shabby, then obviously then I will get them returned. We can leave that like that. The item location, up to you, what you wanna do with that, and bang. You can press list, you are done. Yes, it's that easy. That is basically what you have to do to sell on eBay and yeah, um, it's pretty simple process. Um, but now you might be asking yourself, well, why wouldn't people just go simply over to Walmart or Amazon to purchase the products? Now, the thing is, people are dumb. I'm not going to lie, people are dumb. And that's why there's such a big market for this because people people don't want to be researching on these places for hours. You know, eBay, they know that they can just search what they want and it's going to come up. They don't really think to go into resale supplies and definitely not wholesale supplies for their products. They just think it's easier. And half the time people think it's actually cheaper on eBay. So I don't know why, but that's that's the reason for that. And yeah, once someone gets a sale, once we get a sale, sorry, all we have to do is go to the supplier, pay for it, but with their address and they get the product. So when we get a sale, they're gonna give us their address. And with that address, you just copy and paste it onto the supplier, ship it out, they get it. So that's basically it. So that's basically it. You just make sure you've got an eBay account, you understand how dropshipping works, so you don't make the mistake by buying the product first and then selling it, sell the product first. Never buy it first, sell first. Work out your supplier, create the listing, very simple. And then yeah, make sure you use this calculator on finalfeecalc.com. That's gonna very that's gonna help you out a lot um, with the fees. And yeah, that is basically it. So if you guys want to get access to my um, eBay dropshipping program, that's going to be um, in the link in the description. You can apply for mentoring or you can just message me on Instagram at ecomjoshcarter. I really hope this video helped you out, you know, starting your own eBay dropshipping business completely as a beginner. This was a step-by-step -step guide. If you have any further questions down below, please comment them and I can happily answer them. And yeah, that's this week's video done. I will see you guys in next week's video. Peace.